This thing has the dumpiest little side, like little ears, little door ears. Woo, little door ears. I can hear you. I can hear you. Hello, everybody. Welcome aboard. Welcome to Prestwick because I chose it at random and aboard our Westland Scout, a light helicopter de developed by Westland Helicopters from the Saro P-531. It served as a land-based general purpose military aircraft sharing a common ancestor and numerous components with the Westland Wasp. The primary operator was the Army Air Corps and British Army who operated in several conflict zones including Northern Ireland and the Falklands War. Let's go up and uh, go ahead and power up our Rolls Royce Nimbus 101 turbo shaft, 1,000 shaft horsepower, derated to 685. And just like that, we're in the air. Woohoo! Simple enough. Simple aircraft. Helicopters are simple. Now notice the scenery. See how it'll cut the scenery out? Yep, that's pre uh, uh, service pack two stuff. It cuts out scenery. Very annoying, actually, but hey, whoa, doggy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. We got her calmed down. It's annoying, but it is fixable relatively easily. I'm just lazy. Uh, this was used for general light work, including observation, liaison, training, and search and rescue. When fitted as a light attack helicopter, it carried either two skid-mounted forward-firing machine guns or a single-mounted machine gun in the rear cabin. In anti-tank roll, it could carry four guided missiles. It's wonderful, isn't it? In the casualty evacuation roll, the scout carried two stretchers internally. That's why it has ears. Um, <laughs> or two on externally mounted pods. The co-pilot seat could be, to, could be reversed to allow an attendant to face the casualties. Now, although the general design of the aircraft was robust, with an airframe fatigue life of 7,200 hours, the cockpit ergonomics were less than perfect. An example, the cabin heater switch was mounted next to the fuel cock. Unfortunately, that led to the loss of at least four aircraft when the pilot inadvertently closed the fuel cock instead of switching off the cabin heater, causing the engine to shut down. Yeah, the auto-rotational qualities of the Scout have also been described by some pilots as startling. That's probably not a good description that you want for your auto-rotational ability of your helicopter. Whoa. In Northern Ireland, the Scout pioneered the use of the Helitelli aerial surveillance system, having a gyro-stabilized Marconi unit shoehorned into the rear cabin. The heli Tele unit weighed 700 pounds, although later developments reduced this significantly. Uh, the aircraft was also used for mounting Eagle patrols. In this role, the rear cabin doors and seats were removed, and four troops sat in the rear cabin with their feet resting on the skids. Wow, this helicopter is gnarly on turns. Uh, Operating with two aircraft in unison, this allowed an eight-man patrol to be quickly inserted into an area and mount snap vehicle checkpoints if necessary. Wow. Whoa. Calm yourself, helicopter. Whoa. Hey, look at that landing. Because you didn't expect that to happen. I didn't. That's for sure. Uh, because of the special nature of operations in Northern Ireland, the Night Sun 3.5 million candle power searchlight was introduced. Operations that night were greatly enhanced with the introduction of a night vision goggles, although those missions could still be hazardous. Usually because, especially if there's uh, overhead power lines, because night vision goggles often don't pick up the overhead power lines, and helicopters and overhead power lines are a bad mixture. Crew 1 to 2, passengers 4 to 5. Maximum speed 131 miles an hour at a sea level, that's 211 kilometers an hour. Range of 315 miles or 507 kilometers. A bad looking little thing. Let's see if it opens at all. It does indeed. Let's get inside. Because the inside, the reason we haven't been in here much is because it's really sad. The, the, um, he has lost an arm and his face looks funny. Hmm. What is that noise? I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> we have an arm though. And we have a thing on our leg. That's cool. Alright, let's go shift one. 
There's those gauges. Whoa, that's ugly. Two, that's standard. There's that. There's a collective. There are warning lights. Compass. No idea what that is. Let's turn it on and see what it is. On! Oh. It's just another thing to tell me what I'm doing. Auto hover, that's what it is. Oh, yeah. Auto hover 100 feet. Yep. Okay, cool. Shh. Quiet helicopter. <laughs> Doesn't change the thumping. Interesting. All right. It's not maybe the most amazing. Um, the UK mill guys do a pretty good job, but a lot of times their stuff kind of gets abandoned after time. Um, this is not a bad Western scout. You do get a bunch of scouts with this pack. Something to check out if you need yourself a Westland Scout. I, I, I don't know. Maybe you do. I, I'm unsure of this thing. The link is in the description, as always. I've been Derek Tepper. This has been your Flight Simulator X Helicopter Spotlight, the Westland Scout. I actually landed it. Despite that absolutely horrendous flopping about in the air. I'm actually shocked. I hate the thumping noise. Ha. Huh.